it, the drink looks super cute, but I'm worried about the ice. Um, and I feel like that is a valid worry. I This is my first day here. Ain't nobody trying to be boo-booing an entire trip. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so tired. I'm exhausted and I have to wait here two hours. I got I got to sit down super early because I did TSA pre-check, so it got me through TSA really quickly, but now I'm exhausted and I want a nap, but I don't want to fall asleep because I will miss them calling my flight and boarding time. So I'm just gonna sit here and try to stay up and be mad that I got my nails done yesterday and it's already cracking. So there's that. I'm sure you know this about Tulum if you've been, but once you get off the plane, you land in Cancun, you have like an hour, 30 minute drive to get to Tulum. So I had so much more traveling even though I was tired, but eventually I got there and everything was kind of okay. The drive was long, but the hotel was also on a dirt road, which not gonna lie to you, I started to get worried because I didn't know what was going on, but eventually we got there. So that's all that matters. We are finally here. All the traveling is done. Now they gave me a drink when the hotel was super sweet and they gave me a drink when I entered, but it, the drink looks super cute, but I'm worried about the ice. Um, and I feel like that is a valid worry. I This is my first day here. Ain't nobody trying to be boo-booing an entire trip. So not gonna touch that quite yet, but I wanted to give you guys a room tour because this room is super duper pretty. I know I look crazy. My hair is like a mess, but anywho, this room is beautiful. The hotel vibe is giving relaxation more than like resort turn up. So they do yoga in the morning. Like the room is a bunch of neutral. It's super pretty though. It's really, really pretty. This is a general overview of the room. So this is pretty much where I will be sleeping. And from the bed, what's cool is that the pool is right here. Um, it's your own private pool. So you can pretty much swim whenever you like little you know full body mirror action going on now they also gave me some filtered water so that I don't have to go out and get it myself which is very very sweet I'm sure this is something that most hotels do I'm gonna wear this robe because I always take advantage of the robes in hotel rooms. I don't know how I fit it. It's a very booty tape. Super cool bathroom, but like really, really, really dark. <laughs> but beautiful bathroom. It's about 10 a.m. With the background and this scarf on, it's giving very much Miss Cleo. That's all. 30, I think I'm gonna go get breakfast after I film this video, but I have not filmed in two days. And the reason that I haven't filmed in two days is because one, I didn't really film upon arrival because I was tired, but yesterday specifically, I, was roaming around on Thursday and I was like, you know, these taxis are getting real pricey. Why don't I take a bike? So I rented a bike and terrible idea. It's 90 degrees, like my soul was sweating. Like it's just, it was way too much work. And I got so tired after that, I did not go out yesterday. I just chilled for the rest of the day. But today, we're gonna do things. <laughs> today I'm gonna go to the Mayan ruins. Then I'm gonna come back um, possibly do lunch after I do that. I'm gonna go get breakfast now. And then later on today, I may go to either Taboo um, for a little beach club action. I went on Thursday, but Thursday it was not popping. Mm -hmm. 
there were some beautiful people there, but like it was literally, I could count the people on my hand. Like it wasn't a lot of people or maybe I just went too early. That could be it too. I'm gonna go out to dinner tonight. I wanna try Bach. I saw it in Aaliyah's face vlog. So I, Aaliyah's face, Aaliyah's face's vlog. I saw it in Aaliyah's vlog. So I'm gonna go there and check that out because she said it was good. It's a steakhouse. I haven't been to a steakhouse yet. But right now, I'm gonna get dressed, I'm gonna take the scarf off, and I'm gonna go to breakfast. Go get some, some good eats. Now, I know I've told y'all already how the shower is outside, but every time I go to shower, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's, wait, maybe I can zoom in. It's this spider right there. You see him moving? Every time, I went to go shower yesterday and he was there and then he disappeared and I don't know where he went. He might, I don't know. But every time I go out there, he is out there. Like, dude, just let me shower in peace. All right, so I put on this black, cute little black dress. I'm just going to get breakfast. I'm not going anywhere special, but wait, hold on. That's a really decorative mirror and it's cute, but you can't see nothing. Um, Yeah, so I put this on. And if I can adjust this and not show the white bra. Um, but yeah, it's something cute, something quick. I don't really feel the need to get dolled up because it's not like I'm going anywhere. I love some good sunshine, but it is beaming. Oh, <laughs> lock my door. Okay, so now I'm just waiting to get breakfast. Um, and we are going to see if anybody comes over because nobody has. Exactly. Like with Tony, I've seen my girls on like once or twice. This is good, but all I taste is peanut butter. Finish that smoothie in like two seconds, but here is breakfast. My freaking leg is like, I got one here, got two, like they got me so good. So I tried to get tickets for the ruins. There's no more left. And on top of that, like from the views, what I see people say is how hot it is out there. And I don't want to be uncomfortable like I was yesterday. So I think I'm going to go straight to the beach. I figured you're only in Tulum once, you might as well give it a try anyway. So I ended up going to the ruins anyhow, which was probably the best idea I had because I was able to get in and actually see them. <laughs> Love a black woman from infinity to infinity because I went to go see the ruins this day and there's two tickets you could get. You could get the ticket without the tour and you can get the ticket with the tour. I got the ticket without the tour. On the bus to the ruins, I met a group of women who were line sisters. They were very, very sweet and they were missing one person and I joined their group. They asked if I wanted to join and I was like, sure, why not? And so I was able to actually learn some history and get the tour with the tour guide, which I found way more informative, obviously. But shout out to these women if any of you happen to see this vlog or know these women. They were great. They were super sweet and accommodating and they asked me to go to the cenotes afterwards. But I knew that I had plans for tonight so I couldn't. But shout out to them. They were extremely great and sweet. So thank you to them. Y'all, I needed some shade because it is, it is really hot, but it's beautiful out here. I had a good time. I am tanned, but I will see y'all back at the hotel.
I ended up going to Bach that night and I will insert some pictures from Instagram, but I didn't take any video of my dress. I was rushing out and I left super late to go to dinner. Anywho, I was at this place and it was beautiful and kind of lit. It was more of a dinner party vibe, which I liked. But then I started seeing mad smoke and I was trying to figure out where the smoke was coming from and if I set something on fire. It was near the bar, so I was really confused and that's where I was sitting. However, it was performers and the performers came out and they did their thing it was one performer like he was he was making his check that night um he was really wilding out like stepping on sofas and and like kind of scaring us everybody was like um you have fire in your hand like what are you doing but it was really cool to see he did a great job still scary but a great job After I left the restaurant, I wanted to go out and have a good time still, but I had food left over, so I couldn't get into any of the clubs. They won't let you in with food from other places, and I wasn't about to throw out a $50 meal. So I walked to Rosa Negra, uh, which was close by, and they didn't let me in, so I just ended up going back home. And here's where things got weird. When I went to go home or back to the hotel, I get into this cab and in the cab, he's driving like 120. On top of that, he gets lost. He gets lost and I know he gets lost because where my hotel is is the direction that he didn't go. And so I mentioned it and he's like, oh, let me see your phone um, for getting directions. And I let him, he takes my phone, but he doesn't actually figure out where to go because we barely have service out here. Was I a little shook? Yes, because I'm a woman solo traveling by myself in a taxi with a man in a country that I'm not familiar with. So it was just, it started to give crazy. And on top of that, when I got out the cab, he charged me $50. That is way too much. And in pesos, that translates to, I don't even know how much, but that's Tonight a lot of money. It was fun. I had a great time. I am very, very itchy. All the restaurants here are outside, so these mosquitoes... They had a field day with me, so sorry if I'm shaking the camera while I'm scratching. Um, but yeah, it was. I had a really good time tonight, so I'm gonna take this makeup off, find some energy to do so, and I'm gonna go to sleep, go to rest, <laughs> go to sleep, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Oh, it's not morning. It's actually 158. I know the drastic difference between my body and my face. I wish my whole body was the same color as my chest because it looked ridiculous. Just as ridiculous as it looks on camera. It, it looked that way in person. But good afternoon. Um, so today I'm planning on going into town, getting some food and getting some gelato. Because I spent so much money last night, I don't know if I'm gonna go out tonight, but I might. It's my last day here, my last full day, so I might as well. But um, yeah, I've enjoyed this experience. I'll talk to you guys more about that later. But for right now, we're just gonna go get some food because I'm really hungry and I haven't eaten all day or since last night, so. This place is called Burrito Amor. And y'all, it was some of the best guac that I have had ever and i love guac we don't have this kind of guac at home i had a burrito bowl and some guac and both both items were incredible so if you ever are in tulum and want to give a good burrito spot a try burrito amor is the place to go i'm to get some gelato as a treat this is gonna melt in like three seconds literally like three seconds i should you not but she's so cute though. I'm packing, it's my last night. I think I'm gonna go to the hotel's restaurant and just get a little something to eat. It's nine o'clock and I but I don't typically uh, I don't typically eat this late, but I'm hungry. Um and I haven't eaten since I went to get that ice cream earlier along with the burrito at the burrito place. So I think I'm gonna ask them if they have like snacks, but we'll see. 
they had to bring the food to my room because it took so long. I left at 10. It's now 11, 11 and I'm just eating, um, which sucks, but I have a toothache. The thing about it is I'm going to overpack every single time. 90% of the stuff I had, I bought with me, I did not wear. Um, which, I mean, that's that's on me. But, you know, your girl needs options. This is a suitcase full of stuff that I have to repack because I didn't even put it on once. So, yep. Last one. Leaving me, dipping out on me already. Got what you needed, I guess, quickly. All right, y'all. to the airport because I'm just trying to be there on time. The ride there is an hour. But yeah, this was, hold on, I'm holding my bags. My driver to get me back to the Are airport was very sweet, very kind. He got there <laughs> so quick. He got there in like an hour. <laughs> Overall, my trip to Tulum was wonderful. Um, would I go there again? Yes. Would I go there again as a solo trip? No. I think it'd be a perfect place for like a girl's trip, even a vacation, but just not alone. I don't want to do that again. Um, but overall, I think it was great. And I'm really grateful that I was able to go and I was able to get home safely. If you guys have made it to the end yet again, thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you in the next one.